This is the Logitech MX Keys Mini Keyboard. What does MX mean, you might be wondering? I don't know. Seriously, what does it mean? It's like in all of their device names. From what I can tell, they just labeled these products MX to sound cool. Let's just call it MX uh, and grab some lunch, yeah? Yep, yep. I've been wanting to optimize my workstation for a while now. I recently purchased the MX Series mouse and I love it. Okay, so what does optimize my workstation even mean? Well, it means two things. Number one, it means making things efficient for a fast workflow. And number two, it means creating an ergonomic space to help my body avoid pain. Look what happens when I use a keyboard with a number pad. Look where I have to put my mouse. See the angle of my elbow and shoulder? This is not a natural movement and over time problems will develop. Look at it with the keys mini and mouse. Much better. Over the last 20 years I have had issues with my wrists, elbows and shoulders probably as a result of a lack of an ergonomic workspace. That has led me here where I am right now making this video. Now there are a number of options when it comes to low profile keyboards. There's the Apple Magic, the Keychron, this Logitech, plus many others. As fun as mechanical keyboards can be, when you have a family or work in a shared space, the clickety clackety sounds of a mechanical keyboard can get old. I'm not interested in that anymore, so that eliminates the Keychron. Now the Apple Magic was a little more interesting to me. Apple makes great products. Although there are two reasons alone that made me not even consider that keyboard. First is it's not backlit. And number two, which is the most important for me, look at the keyboard layout. On the Apple, in the bottom left corner, there's a function button. And in the top right, there's a lock button. <sighs> Maybe you like it, but I need control in the bottom left and delete in the top right. Years of muscle memory have been carved into a very quick path in my head. So even when I'm using my MX Keys Mini in the dark, at least I can feel my way to the corners and know exactly where those two highly usable keys are. All right, so all that research led me to the MX Keys Mini, which looks great on paper, but is it actually any good? First, let's check the price. It's 99 bucks US. And after my research, that seems pretty par for the course when it comes to wireless keyboards. All right, let's talk about the good. First, the build quality. It's got some weight to it and it feels premium. Instantly, it feels worth the price. Is that a weird thing to say? I like the design, I like looking at it, and I'm very happy with the build quality. No complaints there. The battery is built into the back here, which is apparently replaceable. Doubtful I would ever do that, but it's nice to know that that's an option. And as far as how long the battery lasts itself, it's great lasts a long time. I was skeptical about a rechargeable keyboard and mouse, but they last so long nowadays and you can see how much charge is left. So just top it up whenever you aren't using it. Done, easy. Check out the backlighting. Isn't that fun? It's nice. I type a lot at night and while I can navigate a keyboard pretty well in the dark, it's just nice to have the backlighting when you want it. I often turn it off while gaming, but I love it. I wouldn't want it without. The keyboard will apparently run for 10 days with the backlighting on and five months without it. The keys feel great. They are quiet yet satisfying to press. And they are smooth to the touch and have a nice indent which feels natural. It's almost like a laptop keyboard, but in a good way. As I mentioned, the layout is what really sealed the deal for me. And because these mini keyboards don't have a bunch of keys we are used to on the side, some of the keys have to double up and have second uses. So the F keys up top also have a function button you can hold, which gives them dual purpose. And you can even lock the function keys on so they're active all the time, which is great. This is pretty normal nowadays, but there are some new ones here I quite like. First, there's these three. They enable you to pair this keyboard with three different devices all at once. That's dope. It's super simple to pair and like a lot of people apparently you could have it paired to a Mac, an iPad, and your desktop Windows computer. I guess if you're some kind of monster and use both systems by choice. Just kidding. With the other buttons you can do things like control the brightness of the keyboard, adjust the volume on your computer, and you can mute the mic, you can enable dictation, as well as quickly inject emojis to make what you're saying really come to life. All right, so what's bad with this little thing? I have to get pretty nitpicky here because it's a really good keyboard. I guess the first downside is you can't use a wired connection, which I think could be important for some people. The USB port is just for charging. Now, I don't love the print screen function button. I use that a lot. And the point of a print screen button is to be fast. This one is like, well, what kind of print screen do you want? A rectangle, a custom shape? I'm like, just print the screen. <laughs> It would be nice if the front of the keyboard raised up a little bit. Sometimes I find the decline shortens my wrist just a tiny bit. But the beauty is since it's so small, it moves around. So sometimes I just slide it to the front of the desk, lower my armrests, and I'm good to go. So, should you buy the MX Keys Mini? 
Logitech is killing it when it comes to productivity. I was really impressed with the mouse I bought from them and I'm really impressed with this keyboard. For a hundred bucks, this is an extremely versatile keyboard that has a solid build quality, but is highly versatile because of its small size. This is the price of what? One physio appointment? And it could save you countless future physio appointments because of its thoughtful design? How can you afford not to buy it? For a lot of people who haven't considered the effects of their non-ergonomic workstation they spent countless hours at, please think about this. Especially if you work at a computer, if you are in a position for hours on end where your ligaments are stretched and your joints aren't at a reasonable neutral position, you're going to develop problems and pain over time. While $100 might seem a little pricey, even for a really good keyboard, it's the long-term savings of physio appointments and avoidance of pain that makes something like this an absolute no-brainer to invest in. So yes, I think you should buy the MX Keys Mini. I love it for productivity, I love it for gaming, I move it around constantly to make whatever position I'm sitting in comfortable. This is pretty close to my ultimate keyboard. This is an absolute thumbs up. Nice work Logitech, you have made a fan out of me. If you are interested, I will leave affiliate links in the description. It won't cost you anything extra and everything I make goes back into the channel so I can get better gear and make better videos. So I greatly appreciate if you are able to do that. I love researching and comparing every single thing I buy. In my last video, I talked about the MX Master 3S mouse. So check that out if you are curious. Otherwise, watch this video next. Thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate the likes, comments, and if you'd like to subscribe, well, I'd love to have you. Have an awesome day and see you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs> Dad!